HP Discover, this is, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada for HP Discover 2013. This is theCUBE, Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage of HP Discover, it's a flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. This is day three of three days of wall-to-wall -wall live coverage of HP Discover, the transformation. People are pumping. I'm John Furrier, founder of Silicon Angle. I'm joined with my co-host. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Vellante of wikibon.org and our good friend Nina Bjork is here. Uh, she's the CMO of Connect. Nina, great to see you again. Great to see you, great to be here. Yeah, so another Discover, you know, we were talking a little bit, it's, it's a little bit different this year, um, in a lot of respects. Uh, what's your take? So, it, you know, it's a, as always, it's a great event. It's a great event to be at. It's a little different because it was restructured and it seems to be a little shorter than it has been in years past. Right. But it still has been, I think there's over 500 sessions, so there's a lot concentrated for people to attend. This year is different for us from a Connect perspective because we usually celebrate our members at this event and we weren't able to do it this year, but I think we'll be able to make that back into the program in the future. Yeah, so, but the numbers are good, right? I mean, it's a packed house and oh, yeah. a lot of partners here and uh, you know, Santana last night, so you know people are excited. Um, so tell us what's new with, with Connect. What have you guys been up to? Lots. We have, we've been so busy. You know, HP networking is probably the hot topic around HP. They're doing well, they're, they're making money, which is always a good thing. But we are building community around the HP networking. So we've been going around the world doing a roadshow around BYOD, software defined networking. We've got two special interest group meetings here at Discover. And what's really exciting is it's not just HP networking customers that are coming to these events. It, they're Cisco customers that are coming to learn more and hear from other customers about how they like the product. So we love that, right? We love it when new people come and they see the community and the ecosystem around the product line and you know, we facilitate. So what's your role at an event like that? What's Connect's objective? That's a great question, facilitate, mm -hmm. right? So we want to make sure at a special interest group meeting, what you want to do is turn the keys over to the, to the customers, to the participants. We kind of guide them, give them things to talk about. Um, we capture and we advocate on behalf of them and feed that information back to HP. Many times, they, you know, there might be representatives from HP in the room and they'll be capturing as well, but it also helps them to really hear applications, right, how people are using the technology. So as they go and talk to other customers, they can say, you know what, I, you know, I spoke to another customer who was doing the same thing. Yeah, so now, so you're saying you're doing these uh, regionally or globally? Or? Right, we started in the U.S. and they've been wildly successful, so now we're taking the show on the road and around the world. So where are you going next? Uh, next we're going to Seattle, Washington on August the 27th and um, packed house already. Really? So how many people attend these things? Uh, well, we have room right now for 50, but I think we're going to be going over flow. So we want to keep them small enough to where oh, we can great. keep the interactivity going. So it's intimate. It's very and, intimate. And uh, the... The attendees, I'm sure, feel comfortable sharing. Yeah, they do, at that absolutely. Point. Oh yeah. And, and, and it's pretty exclusive, right? I mean, it's you not it's not a selling uh, event, right? That's the first thing we say. Yeah. We're not here, you know. In our job, we don't we don't have anything to sell except for membership. Yeah. Um, uh, and HP's job is not to sell. It's just it's a it's a feel good thing where people meet new friends, right? Mm -hmm. They grow their professional networks. They increase their awareness about products and solutions that are out there. But most importantly, they get to hear from other customers on how they're utilizing different products and solutions in their environments. Nina, I want to ask you um, about um, just the vibe here at HP Discover because you've been on theCUBE multiple times and when HP was having the hardest time in the marketplace during a lot of the, the Leo transitional things, even when he was CEO, there was always the, the controversy. And we said on theCUBE, you know, HP has a ton of assets. You said, I think, you know, paraphrasing here, I don't remember the direct quote, but it was slow lines of, this company has a lot of assets, a lot of people want to work hard, there's a lot of energy. And I want to just point out that a lot's changed. This show is, people are excited. There's really not a lot of negative news. I mean, at That's all. Good. That's good news. Some of the press are kind of going after, you know, I saw all things D mentioned, you know, declining PC, uh, leisure jet business. Um, it's really not declining. I talked to Pradeep Jotwani in the hallways. It's actually not declining. So you still see people kind of going there. You know, other blogs had like, oh, the Palm OS. People are still harping on some of the old stuff. But Meg is clearly look, looking forward. And what's your take outside of the executives, underneath the covers of the company and the community? What is the vibe today? What is the current situation? I can absolutely answer that because I have been going around the world with a video crew talking to our, um, 
our members and telling their stories. And one of the questions I always ask them is, with all the changes at the top of late, you know, with uh, with an HP, has it changed the way you work with HP? Has it changed your buying decisions? And you know, what's really crazy is they responded almost verbatim, this, all of them, and these are customers from around the world, which is, it didn't matter. What mattered most was how the people were serving them in the trenches, right? The dedication, the loyalty, the knowledge that the people have that work, the teams that work with the customer directly, some of them said they almost pitched a tent in my office to make sure that we were had everything we needed to be successful. And that has been consistent, and that is amazing news. That's great news for HP. Yeah, I mean, the HP brand has uh, a real meaning to a lot of customers. And, uh, and at the same time, I think, you know, we've been observing what, what Meg's been doing. You know, Wall Street seems to be happy, it stocks up, but there's a lot of work to be done. And, you know, we've specifically looked at, you know, her priorities. In fact, I was talking to her in Boston, uh, at the analyst event, we had a side conversation about what some of the priorities are. So we're paying down the debt, and that you can see that happening now. And I get excited because once that debt's paid down, HP can become an acquired, aggressive acquirer of companies again. And they're a little gun shy right now, but there's so much innovation going on out there. And HP's been sort of sitting in the sidelines, not been a buyer, you know, trying to work through the autonomy stuff. But I'm saying, you know, once, let's say next year comes around, that debt is largely paid down, HP's going to start picking, in my view, picking up some assets that are really going to excite the user base. You bet. You know, one of the things also that I'm seeing, you're right, I think it's great, but the organic uh, growth that's going on, right? They have the labs that, uh, there's four labs now dedicated to HP networking, right? So you've got mobility is really important. Um, I went to a, a networking innovation event, and what's coming out of the labs is unbelievable. Very, very exciting. And that's what people like to see. I think when they think of HP, right? I mean, of course, you know, HP is going to always look at companies that they can bring in as assets. But when you can organically produce something, that really makes you a leader in the industry. Yeah, and I think it's got to be a balance, right? Yep. I, mean, the, the, I think the best companies have a balance of organic, and they do you know, deep R&D, and they can also demonstrate that they can acquire companies where they need to, and they can do so quickly. And, and that's somewhat hands at hamstrung HP in the last several years, but that's going to change actually pretty quickly here. And when it, when it does, I think HP is going to do some serious damage in the marketplace to some of the competitors, and, and I think customers are going to get increased value out of it. Uh, I think that from what I'm hearing from the customers that I'm talking to and our members, they really like and respect Meg's leadership. And when she speaks to the community and speaks to the customers, she speaks to them as she's sitting side by side and not dictating, and that is very powerful, very powerful. It's very humble uh, for an individual who's so accomplished as she is. Um, and I think, I've, again, I've said, John and I have talked about this a lot on theCUBE, is you know, HP is a company that's got to shrink to grow, and that's okay, you're right. comfortable with that because they're throwing off a lot of cash, uh, and I think that is uh, underscores the stability of the, the organization, so that's all good. Well, Nina, it's always great to have you on theCUBE. I mean, your, your, your perspective is from the communities, mm -hmm. You know, as we say, we like to extract the signal from the noise, and we want to go deep, not just cover the you know high-flying, you know hit-and-run kind of reporting and news. We want to be in editorial independent, but at the same time, get the right data and share that with our communities. Thank you so much for coming on the Cube. Always great to see you. Happy to be here. Thank you again for inviting me. And uh, you know, you're becoming legend on the Cube because ah. uh, you know you've been here every single HP Discover. We really appreciate uh, you sharing uh, information, your data, and your, your perspective. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, this is the Cube. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. Uh, this is SiliconANGLE and Wikibon's the Cube live at HP Discover in Las Vegas. Day three of three days of live coverage. We'll be right back.